Hello, Virgo and cross watchers alike. Oh, my camera's all crooked. Look at that shit. Look at it. There you go. There you go. Anyway, welcome to your mid February <coughs> to March. Sorry, I'm sick. Reading for this current year. I'm also late with the reading. My bad, but it happens, man. At least it's not like the 15th already because there's only. Is there only 28 days this year or 29? I can't remember. Never understood how leap year, and I can never remember the shit neither. Anyway, this is for the sign of Virgo. And the sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your chart. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose. Away it goes. No point worrying about shit today. You got nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your damn business unless you're nosy like I am. And that's why we're all here. Who y'all? Anyway, Virgo. You have the option of washing some nasty hair and it's infected with lice or just shaving the head and starting over because that's basically where you're at with this. That's the analogy. I wanted to put lice in there in the title, but then it would be like, oh, well, that's gross. And I don't think a lot of people go with that. But at the same time, Virgo, y'all are interested in some weird shit. And I noticed because my mother is a Virgo. Y'all are just the we Like, everyone thinks Capricorn's weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, you just know how to hide it well. <laughs> but it's like you're dealing with people or cross watchers. You could be dealing with people, or you, or you, both of y'all could be dealing with people for all I fucking know. Who um are basically like lice that are all in your hair. You got nits, you got the gnats, you got the nox, you got the gnosis, you got all that stuff. You got all of their weird creepy crawly things and it's just all in there and it's just like are you gonna try to like get rid of this stuff with the same shampoo or even different shampoos that ain't been working this entire time or do you just cut and shave your damn head and just start anew get rid of it all stop the infection completely because it's way way out of control that's pretty much the analogy i got with this reading right we got the moon right here mind you i got my dolly uh deck it's new so we're interpreting as we go right we got the moon reverse right here. Somebody was in control of, like, the fucking secrets. The gigantic crab crawdaddy looking thing that's, like, spreading what its radioactive pincer into the city. I'm not even sure how I'll go about describing that. But it's like someone figured out who the person in the moon who was controlling it was. Or maybe they saw it through the eyes of the moon. But they saw who was the real crab monster. And that's got them wanting to go, Virgo and Cross Watchers, right? We got the three of cups down here. Could be a group, could be a unit. My thing is though, this one bitch in the center right here is staring at someone else's crotch. Nobody else is doing that. Nobody. No, nobody's looking at anybody's crotch, right? So it's like someone's picking up something here about someone's like area, right? It's just like, girl, what is that? And then it just makes someone go like, oh my god, I'm so disappointed that I even bothered looking at that. Why did I look at that? Why? But it's devastating because it causes a, the third party situation to be knocked over for someone to move on with the other two cups. Right? Right. That also makes the uh, eight of cups, which is like a point in which like after looking at the at, at, at like someone's area and then feeling the betrayal of it all. I don't know, some, maybe somebody went, like, nuts and inspected somebody. It was just like, look, just let me, like, let me sniff you. You know, it's like, it, it became shame and disappointment, and then it all together becomes the Eight of Cups, where someone just needs to walk the fuck away from this shit, because, like, it's despite the fact you still got the feelings, despite the fact you still love your hair, um, there's an issue to which you're literally looking at someone's crotch, because, like, something's off here, right? Wants and wishes with this three of wands up here. It feels like someone's been waiting for another. But now it's like there's no point in like dreaming about this person anymore. Especially in regards to the Knight of Cups. You know, like maybe somebody felt like they wanted to save somebody with their heart or whatever, which is just like you can't save every hoe. You can't. You can't save every hoe. Or you're venturing off to start something different. But it seems like you have a fear as you venture forward with this want and wish. When it comes to something not beginning the way you want it to, right? So then we have the sun reverse down here. Which I think looks weird. It's like fucking Steve and Blue's Clues as a line. That's what it reminds me of. Just where the line is. It's just like, Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues. You know? But it's like, I feel like someone's 
you know, reversed. The red kind of looks like you, like someone's penis. Like they drew it on to look way bigger. Like I am nowhere near as insecure with my manhoods as I appear to be. Like, look at it, but it's all fake. It's like drawn on with the goddamn crayon, you know, and the line's just sitting there like, it's okay. It's, it, it's okay. It's normal. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, that <coughs> Oh, that was terrible, but it was worth the fucking laugh. <coughs> Unfortunately, like um crayon on um penis dude, there's an offer with him, right? It's just like he draws on like whatever makes him feel more masculine to feel secure of himself because he's really insecure. Like mind you, the sun is the Leo card. So there's a lot of insecurity based on that kind of shit, right? But he's got an offer, too. It's just kind of like, you know, um... <coughs> Is this offer based on, like, insecurities? Or on what will make someone feel secure? Because there is an offer here. Right? right. Then we got, like... <coughs> Fears of rejections, Virgos and Crosswatchers. Someone wants... Someone's afraid that all their hopes and prayers are still going to lead to not another new starter, not another new beginning, which I find very strange. Like, someone's thinking and pray is praying, you know, like something won't happen. However, there is a new start, and how this shit starts, how it'll end. With the Three of Cups here, once again. <coughs> So as I was saying before, Virgo, you could either try to cure this infection that's way out of control that's in your head with all the lice and such, or you can just shave your head and start something new. Because right here, as the beginning theme, is betrayal. Specifically, Julius Caesar, it looks like, when he's being betrayed, even though, like, what is this supposed to be? The Ides of March? There's only ten swords here, and I know that's not all as many as there should be, but it's still the betrayal. It's just like... You know, be caught by surprise by those who you trust. <coughs> oh, that laugh fucked me up. God damn it. Okay. So let's begin Virgos and Cross Watchers. Now that we got everything out of the way, we know the basics of the story while the cards are laid out. Now we get to see little mishaps and then we'll clarify with the After Terror deck. Yay, yay. <coughs> Jesus Christ. I better feel better by tomorrow. Actually, I should have taken some medicine. That's what I should have done. Should have taken some DayQuil. I'll tell you what, man. I took some NyQuil. I didn't think it would bother me because usually I'm a person who can, like, resist sleep. And oh my God, it was like, fuck. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Thinking of going to bed, someone found out, like, someone with an evil crawdaddy influence and they want to go away. It's got them feeling hot broken. Mm, three of swords. And now we got the page of pentacles. <coughs> it's like this offer. Yeah, there's a sleeping dragon here, but it's run by a page. And the page is just sitting there with the little ball of light being like, you know, I can wake this up at any fucking time. But nah, it's like there's a pension here. I'm gonna drop one more, but I'm only doing two for all of them. You know? Okay, so if you did... Uh, okay, look at it, right? If there's something that went down... And you make an offer, as tentative as it is, it's going to keep you bound in the situation with the Ten of Swords right here. Which is also over here. It's like, did you give somebody a second chance? And now they're working on their third, their fourth, their fifth, whatever it is. It's got you bound, man. Situation below, where someone's staring too hard at somebody's crotch, and then that leads to just the Five of Cups where everything's knocked over. Now leading to people, like, having to walk away. But somebody's at a crossroads with that, and they're just refusing to leave. They're refusing to take that step, acting like a martyr. Um... When they should be manifesting to be the magician. Or somebody manifesting a situation with you. Because he's holding something pretty and glowy in his hands. Let's see. 
Wants and wishes. Three of wands reversed with the Knight of Cups, y'all. Come here. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're not waiting on this because you realize and it'd be like, I mean, you could go and offer your cup somewhere, but I feel like you still want to offer it to this person who you feel like there's no point in waiting on. Uh, you know, strumming my pain with his finger. You know, trying to play the song of God in order to catch your attention, you know. So there is no new beginning. Or someone saying some shit to encourage you that there won't be. Uh, that's why you might have thoughts and prayers and your fears. Because maybe you're afraid that this shit isn't going to happen the way you want it to be. But there could be a new beginning in the same fucking situation. Where this bitch is still staring at somebody else instead of paying attention to her own good time. You know. Which I think you're noticing. Down below in the obstacles of the challenge. Dude who like had to draw on a bigger penis has an offer right here. Right? Don't do it, because, like, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, they're snooping for... Sh <laughs> they have other... They have flying monkeys. They have flying monkeys coming around. Spreading the wrong shit about what would and would not be a good investment, Virgo and Cross Watchers. It's like they're running around saying shit. Being like, hey, da 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 da, -da. If they leave, they're not going to be in a good fortunate state, you know. Like, trying to make a wish come true, but that wish is coming with bad consequences. Or that wish is starting to become null and void, you know? Like, or, you could be running around, like, trying to spread the word, like, we should get back together, you should tell him that. And, like, this person's just, uh But now it's coming along so, like, slowly and shit, that, like, you're starting to come to realization, like, maybe this wasn't the best idea. <laughs> maybe this was fucking stupid, right? Fears are rejected with the Ace of Wands on top of the Nine of Swords. That thoughts and prayers about maybe possibly not being able to start something new. Or start a new beginning. You know, like, it, it might be a slow but sure thing, but you're still offering something. Which is still going to lead over, which is still going over to the Ten of Swords. So it's just like there's still going to be betrayal in this situation. Like, if you haven't been stabbed by the knife yet, you probably will be or they will be. One of the two are in Cross Watchers. Right? Yeah, you're making a slow moving off, or you're, you're definitely, like, on the move to go do this, but y you're getting to the point where it's impatience. It's like, um... <coughs> I wish this investment would hurry up already. Because, like, I could find other shit to do. Like, Virgo, you get so upset when you don't see the results of how your shit's going sometimes, I've noticed, with my mom. And then it's like every Wednesday at like 2.15 in the afternoon. Because she rotates it sometimes, right? Last month it was like Thursday, but she's back on Wednesdays. And she's doing it in a much earlier time. Um, she would have breakdowns. Like literal breakdowns. <coughs> in front of all of us kids. When we were really, really, since we were really, really little, right? And she would just like flip her shit. And, all we, and we would all just be sitting there like five and some odd ages, just be like, Mom? It's just a TV show. I mean, it's kind of an emergency to know where the flooding's happening. I know, but I need to watch my stuff up run! And be like, what the fuck, Mom? You know, like, I don't, I, like, that's my mother. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but it's like, when my mom would freak out, I kind of understood it because it was something important to her. Because I think it just was the one thing that brought her joy, but it's like... This isn't something you're waiting for joy, this is like an investment. Um, and it's like you're getting impatient because nothing's melding together the way it's supposed to, so it works out the way you set it up to. And it's like you just want to go ahead and ride, but you gotta take your time. And I don't think you want to take your time. I think you feel like that if you take your time, Everything isn't going to work out the way it's supposed to, which I find, uh, possibly. Alright. <coughs> how this shit starts, how it'll end. Ace of Swords with these three of cups, right? You, know, you might be trying, you could either find a new group of people to help you get out of the cold, or you could join these fucking weirdos in order to get out of the cold. Really, your option. But either way, you're probably going to get fucked over. 
You can have it already. Yeah, you're just interested in cutting out this feeling of being left behind, I feel like. Maybe not left behind. Maybe that's not the right terminology to use. Um, it's something similar to that, though. It's like being left out of the loop, almost. And there might be a desire to cut this out completely. No, 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 that's not the five, that's the three. Um, yeah, there, okay, so I got it now. Three of pentacles with the three of cups. It's like, is there, there really isn't any investment in, in this, is there? No, no, I don't believe that there is. I'm very sure that, like, you recognize there's no investment, because, like, how can you have a partnership when two of the three people don't even tell you what the fuck's going on? And then you get one looking at somebody's crotch. You know. What's the ending theme with this? Oh. What a tangled web we weave. Especially when we're a drunk spider. Not really uh, paid attention. And all of our webbing just like lint flies go right through it. And then we get caught up in our own shit and tied up, you know? Virgo and Crosswatcher, whatever you were trying to weave was just to enable this betrayal to happen. Um, whatever you invested, whatever was possibly put in, helped weave this crazy <coughs> sense of what the fuck. And then, the motherfuckers would have brought you into it again! So it's like, do you want to shave your lice-infested hair, or are, you, or are you going to try to fix it? Like, that's the real question. But I feel like even if you fixed it, it's going to be like you're a drunk spider trying to make a web only for you to get stabbed by a bunch of people. They're going to hit you with the hose again. Because you didn't put lotion on the skin. Which is disgusting that they want to watch to begin with, because they don't know where your feet been and shit. It, it stinks somewhere. He needs your kneecaps, or under boobs, or your armpits, like that. No, go away. Let me, like, make myself pretty in peace. Which I feel like these people don't want you to do, especially with the Eight of Pentacles right here. Oh, uh, no. Like, you're offering even after all the bullshit went down. Like, stop being nice. <laughs> like, you're willing just to take a nap rather than just be like, I don't want to pick this up ever again, dude. Ugh. Dude, I don't... No, no, no. Taking a break from this relationship is not going to fix it. Like, I already told you, you're thinking, like, maybe if, I, if we just, like, take a minute to, like, chill, we can come back together. No, no. That's what's got you in this head of sword situation to begin with, because you were probably like, I'll wait for you and shit, and it was just like, why? What the fuck is there to wait for? <laughs> Down in the situation, you need to stop making excuses for being a martyr, dude. Like, the bird done fell off the cliff. It didn't even bother flying. It's been stuffed for a while. Because you're sitting in a position where you don't even know that there's a battle going on. Like, perhaps you knew of one person, then boom, here's another one. Another bitch. This time she's so bold to look at someone's crotch, but she'll look at their face while y'all are trying to have fun. And it's just like, are you fucking serious? This shit again? That's what I'm saying. Either fix your hair or shave your head. Those are your options. Like, even if you, like, try to treat it, it's still gonna come back regardless. Probably twice as strong. Like, I feel like you've already been in this situation and now it's about to start all over again. It's a cycle, bro. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Ugh, I hate this. I hate being sick so much. Anyway. Wants and wishes with this person who knows what to say, but I feel like you're seeing right through him, and that's why this new beginning isn't happening. You know, it's like a demon or a guilty conscience, you know? You feel bad for not falling for the temptation, or do they feel bad for you not falling for the temptation? Because, like, either they came up and said, oh, there's not going to be a new beginning, but they didn't mean that, or you believe they didn't mean that. Or, they tried doing this to you. You thought about it. A guilty conscience about it. And now realize, you know, like, oh, this is all temptation. I really don't want this. Could be with a Capricorn too, Or a Gemini. Well, basically, everyone's on the board. So you decide who's doing what today. Because, like, I'm just, I, I don't feel well enough. I, I mean, I can run my mouth. And I'm suffering. Because it's really hard to breathe when you do that. Especially when you can't breathe through your nose. 
but <coughs> it's whatever. Anyway, I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, like, it's like, um, you were plagued by the fact, it's like, are you plagued because you didn't go for the temptation or because you saw right through their bullshit? It's just like, man, I could have had that ass one more fucking time. One more time. But it's like, they're lice. Like, uh, these people are lice, they're fleas, they're infections, they're pests. But you feel bad for not giving in. That's something I don't entirely understand, but whatever. Or they feel bad because you don't give in. Obstacles and challenges. Send out spies to create a wish fulfillment that isn't really that great of a wish at all. You know, someone needs to listen to people. This page of swords does just be like, look, you don't need to go out there and throw some bats at people. Especially dead ones. You're not Ozzy Osbourne, you know? But, if this person listens to other people... Wait. If this person listens to other people, we crown the victor. But it's like, mm, why are there three motherfuckers there? There's only one person who's the Page of Swords, but there's three motherfuckers coming up, and there's three all over this goddamn board everywhere. Twos and threes. You know, Ten of Swords is five times two. Eight of Pentacles is four times two. Temperance is just two things melded into one. The devil has got two people fucking in front of a crowd of fucking demons and shit. We got the lovers up here. We have the two of swords, which still has three people in it. Three of wands, three of pentacles, three of cups. Threw one somewhere else again, but I don't remember where. It doesn't really matter, though. There are too many people in your damn thing. You have a lot of lice in this hair. And they're convincing you, you know, like, hey, if you take this treatment, you'll be, your head will be special just like me. Like, it's a fucking, like, tampon commercial. It's just like, try some, sell some loo today, and if it doesn't work, your money back guarantee. You ain't getting your money back for that shit. Hell, it's gonna take, like, several fucking washes and probably three more shampoos to get all that stuff out your hair. Okay. Fears and rejections, right? Slowly, surely moving this offer, but like impatience because nothing's coming together, right? This is wrong. This is wrong. You're asking to be a servant to somebody else. You know. Could be with a Libra. It's like, you're still wanting all this to work out. You're still slow with your offers and shit. Whatever it may be, but nothing's coming together, and that's because you got the wrong idea. Um, you're weighing the scales a little wrong, my dear. This is not a balance between two people. This is a person who's becoming a servant to another person, and it's really, really starting to be one-sided. Which is what you're noticing here. Like, you got thoughts and prayers because you think that the shit won't go the way you want it to, but you're feeding into a situation where, like, it will and always has been and shall be this way. Last row, and then we're done. How shit starts, how it'll end. You need to cut out the, all this third-party shit. Honestly. Because, like, I don't even think you're in the third-party Virgos and Crosswatchers. If you are, you need to quit it anyway. But, if you ain't, you know, like, like there's no point in this. Like, you gotta be Queen of Swords and just cut this shit. You know? Avoid that tower again. <laughs> For the love of God, please, don't let it bury your fucking body. Like, this is definitely a warning. Like, if you, like, whoever you're dealing with, if they're doing the whole, like, third party, if they're getting bitches to look at their crotches and, like, you're realizing this, if you try to stick around with this offer, you're going to be in the exact same situation again, but with a different third bitch. Like, if they can't have that one bitch, that's fine. There are other bitches who will come around and, like, touch their imaginary drawn-on crayon penis. Like, you know, they know this. Like, they know this. They're very... I feel like whoever you got is very good with their game. Yeah, go start something new, man. Fuck that. Avoid this tower. Go start something new. That's the end of your reading, Virgos and Cross Watchers. So if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry I'm sick. I'm sorry I, I say lots of naughty, naughty words, but you're just going to have to live with that, right? Um, you ain't got to if you don't want to, but I greatly appreciate y'all as my audience, and thank you very kindly for watching. All right, love your faces. I will see you guys later. You have a good day. Bye-byes.